Hello, Taurus. Welcome. I'm Ryan. Thank you for being here. It's going to be a general reading, so of course, everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel at Prophecy 3 Tarot. She's read you as well. Thank you. A leader of Mountain Dew. That joke though, it's not actually Mountain Dew, it's car coolant because of how neon it is. Oh, God. All right, let's see what's going on. Whoa, there, Skip. I have to go chase that over there, but what's this over here? I won't take it. We'll see what happens as this unfolds. You're showing me right now, Taurus, there definitely is this change in your perspective regarding something. And I don't exactly know what this is about, but you're showing up very sharp and very clear about this. And there's some sort of leaning, leaning into the realization that something is just done with. It almost seems and feels like cold cut and dry, just done with, complete. It seems as if you're, huh, it almost seems like you're, you're just more so like very, very busy. Um, you got, you got, you have a lot going on. You have a lot of ideas going on. So this is like a very, um, very fixed energy and attention on work, career, money, finances, ideas, creating for yourself. Because even though you show me a very split second, like, okay, now I'm taking a, a tad bit of time for me, and then it's like back to work on something. It's like immediately following this, back to work. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna push this a little bit. Hmm. Interesting energy. Don't know what that's about. Don't know what that's about. We'll see where this goes. Um, There's def how do I say this? There's definitely some sort of connection here between you and someone. And it seems as if there is some sort of new beginning or startup between the two of you. Um, at the same time, it also, I'm kind of like left wondering like whether things are actually truly working out or not because you're showing me they're not. Something's not working out between the two of you. But you're trying to kind of still piece things together and have things progress and move forward. And it's like, um, why isn't it moving forward? Yeah, it's... <laughs> okay, okay. Um... Crafty, that is for sure. Very crafty. You got something up your sleeve. You, you do. You got something up your sleeve, but ultimately, 
there's this energy of like, you're trying to take it easy and figure out like what else you can kind of do. So it's interesting because you, what you're showing me is you feel a spark between you and someone, whoever this is, you have a connection with, you feel a spark with them. But for some reason, what you're kind of also showing me is that spark isn't enough. It doesn't, it doesn't emotionally feel like it's enough or it doesn't emotionally feel like it's enough for you. Um, in a sense of depth, emotional depth. And you're trying to figure out like, hmm, what can I kind of do to have things progress in a way in a, like a loving matter or a loving direction? And, and that's what I was kind of wondering. It's an energy of like, well, is it's like you, you're having this realization, goodness gracious, Taurus. Like I said, the trick up your sleeve. Um, it's like if you have to kind of pull out, um, not to offend or trigger anyone, if you have to kind of pull out these tricks in order to kind of like create some sort of emotional energy or flow of give and take between you and someone, it's kind of like, is it really there to begin with? Um, I understand, you know, romance and passion and love and all that kind of energy and that dynamic of how they all play together. At the same time, you're kind of showing me um, whatever happened initially with that spark wasn't enough. And so if there was true, genuine love here between the two of you, it wouldn't have gone the direction it's going. You're showing me that you're on the right path. And this is unfortunately, Taurus, supposed to be happening. At the same time, there also is a living situation between the two of you in place. So you guys could live under the same roof. But you're still showing me. You're trying to figure out how to kind of um, work things in such a way where it creates this love between the two of you. And it shows up that it initially does which it kind of like gets you excited and gets the energy moving and flowing. But at the same time, give it a little bit of time and you sit with that emotional energy that was created between the two of you. And you're having this disappointment kind of stir up and kick in. And you're kind of like, well, why? Once again, back to square one, why isn't it? Why aren't things progressing with us? And that's what I'm talking about. It's like, um, something going on. Something's going on. Yeah, it's like you can't help but kind of like replay things over and it's like, well, what, you know, what the fuck is going on? Um, I don't know, Taurus. I don't know. I wish I could tell you. I don't know. You're showing me like this whole situation between the two of you has definitely kind of pushed you back and taken you back. To where it's kind of like, well, now I have to deal with all this. And it's kind of like, yeah, um, that's a relationship. It's not an energy of like, well, we just don't talk. We don't talk or communicate about anything. Um, we don't talk about our love life. We don't talk about our connection. We don't talk about a relationship. We don't talk about this, 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 this. That's what a relationship is. They call it a relationship because you're in the ship with someone else and you're supposed to relate to one another. It's not an energy of like, well, we just sit here and we're just, you know, quiet and our mouths are sealed shut with super glue and they do what they want to fucking do and I do what I want to fucking do. No, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. You're, you're replaying things over like, what is it? And it's like, I don't see any communication here. There you are, Taurus. You're kind of like, but me. And I'm like, and? Yeah, you're, you're ultimately, <laughs> once again, Taurus, it, it's an energy of, it's not just my way or the highway or what one person says goes or vice versa. It, it doesn't work that way. You're showing me, it's like, I, I need to figure out what the fuck is going on because I need some sort of clarity here and someone to kind of like tell me what is going on. And I'm like, I'm telling you what's going on. I'm telling you what's going on point blank. And you're still showing me like, I don't understand what's going on. It's like, if I'm telling you point blank what's going on and you're still not grasping what is going on, I don't know how else to say it. Like I said, you may feel the spark between the two of you, but if you have to actively make some sort of changes here regarding the situation and you have to kind of sit down and feel like try and figure out how do I create a deeper bond emotionally between me and them? I understand that that can be done. At the same time, if it's this difficult, if it's this difficult, and you're kind of showing me afterwards, I got what I wanted, but now I'm disappointed that I had to put in the work and the effort to create this between us. 
that's you just letting me know you're not actually truly feeling what you think you're feeling. And so you are kind of at the end of this being like, well, I'm working on myself. And it's like, yeah, that's, that's part of it. But at the same time, it's kind of like, you know, that dynamic and that dance between you and someone is also a key factor in this relationship or connection as well. That does determine the outcome or the result of this connection. It's, it's not just one way, you know, it's a two way street. Um, of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with an air sign, a fire sign, an earth sign or a water. They're all here. Bye.